Hi, this is Paula J from Secure. Uh, this is another episode of Secure Hacks Weekly. Uh, this time I'm really excited because we're going to be talking about a very nice subject, quite lightweight as well, uh, which is where we can find different kinds of passwords in the operating system. This subject is particularly interesting for uh, administrators and also security experts. And the reason why is because from the administrator's perspective, you will guys know where to look for different types of information, uh, where the password can be. Maybe you were wondering what kind of password was there configured and uh, you will learn how we are able to extract it. Uh, so this is, this is uh, that part. And for security uh, specialists, that will be a nice summary for interesting places where during the penetration test, uh, you can find different types of credentials that you can use later. Within this episode, I will show you all these places where the password can be in and uh, how we are able to extract it. So let's get started. Okay guys, so you should see my screen right now and if you're wondering where are all these places where uh, we can find password in the operating system, let's start from something maybe a little bit less obvious, which is hashes. And in order to list them, we need to use, for example, psexec to elevate to uh, the local system. So we have it right now. And uh, the next thing is going to be to use our tool, which is called CQHashDump version 2, in order to um, reach uh, of course, some database uh, by also ha having an access to uh, System Hive. So I'm going to get into CQ Tools, then we've got CQ Hash Dump version 2, some dump, and what we see over here is a list of uh, local accounts with their NT hashes. These are the ones that start from E19. Okay, that was actually quite easy. What about uh, some other things? Is it possible to uh, list, for example, passwords from uh, the service accounts? Uh, of course, yeah, we can do that. And if we get into services MSC, we can spot over here that there is this test service running as the local administrator. Lovely. So what we're going to do is CQ secret dumper service PJ service, and that gives us an access to the password over here. Yeah, so this is another place in the registry this time where we are able to find uh, the password of the service account. And if we go to regedit, uh, this kind of data can be found in, found in policy. And then we've got secrets. And this is the place where we are able to find the uh, password of the test service. Of course, it's encrypted. So um, that's why we wrote the tool in order to be able to decrypt it. Lovely. Where else? Well, for that purpose, I will need to switch to the different machine. And within the different machine, I got a couple of other things ready too. So in order to, for example, be able to list uh, passwords from uh, application pool, that is actually quite an easy task. Everybody should know how to do that. When we get into application pools on the web server, we've got an application pool called App1 that is running, running a secure Freddy Krueger. And uh, we're going to get into, uh, in this case, Windows System32 inet srv because this is a place where we've got up cmd.exe and we do list up pool and then up one export text and asterisk stands for all of the possible inform the, the data that uh, that we can have over here and uh here as you see we've got the freddy krueger and the password being in the clear text well it's originally not in the clear text uh when we have a look at the ias uh, cryptography uh, it's machine based um, and uh, if you follow the other videos that I'm recording, I'm talking also about data protection API. So in this case, it's a data protection API, but off system. So it's not really stored in the clear text in application host config, uh, but um, it can be decrypted, of course, as long as we've got access to the uh, Windows process activation service and IS uh, configuration. Okay, so uh, another interesting part. In this case, I get a power PowerShell script um, behind, but uh, wh when are we going to use it? We're going to use it in a following situation. Have a look. In IIS, we've got the setting that it's called centralized certificates, and that's the place where we store, uh, of course, our private keys. But in order to get access to private keys, we need to get access to private key passwords. That's why we've got here edit feature settings. And uh, we can see over here that that's the way how we're going to be accessing, for example, to the share where the certificates are 
and that's the place where we configure the private key password. Okay, but that's like dots, probably they are stored somewhere. Well, yes, they are stored uh, in the registry, but they are stored in the registry in the encrypted form. And if we get into rec edit again, and it, at that stage, as you see over here, we're going to go to software, Microsoft, IIS, and central server provider. There is a private key password and that private key password is stored like that. Yeah? Of course, when we change it, and that's also quite an interesting case, to whatever ABC ABC, what is interesting is that when we go to edit feature settings, that dots are here mentioned. So we can quickly change it, and um, in the moment we will be able to export the private key. Let's do it. Have a look. Microsoft, it's going to be Windows, Microsoft.net, and we've got a certain version of framework, and then we've got this one, and then we've got ASP.NET RecIS, and then we've got the option that is called PX. Yeah, so we can or we can do it just do it like this. We've got a PX container file and then we're going to export it. That's going to be quite interesting. We've got the minus PX and then we will specify of course a container which is called IS was key and then the file which is um uh, of course we can do this to see test for example XML because this is an output file and then we do just do minus P or I to export the private key. Yep, so we got it in the test.xml uh, test and uh, here we go and let's of course read this content and let's use the cryptography that IS is using and let's read the private key password that we got over here. Lovely and we will need to reverse the array that we are importing from the registry and apply the uh, decryption function. And as you see, this is what we got. Yeah. So this is, um, or, or these are the places where we can see all these passwords. Okay, so I hope it was interesting for you and uh, you've learned uh, maybe some couple of new places where the password can be stored. Uh, it's very important that uh, you spread this knowledge because uh, uh, everybody should be able to know how to configure things properly, how to not to make these mistakes and how to be able to find them. And if you've got another places where you know where the password is stored in the operating system, we've got only a little time here, but I'm looking forward to some more comments in the blog post so that uh, everybody will be able to do good and security for the operating systems. Thanks so much.